Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave and optical communications. So in today's class, we are going to learn about losses in optical fiber cables. Okay. So there are different types of losses will be occurred in optical fiber cables, among which first one is the attenuation loss. Second one is the absorption loss. Third one is the railing loss. Fourth one is the micro bend. And the fifth one is the macro bend. Okay. So we are going to see the overview of all these losses one by one. Let's see the first attenuation loss. Generally, we all know, right? In the microwave engineering, we have already learned. In an electromagnetic wave or a microwave is moving through a waveguide uh, from one point to another point. Generally, we use several types of attenuators, right? In order to attenuate the microwave signal. So what do you mean by attenuation? What we generally assume attenuation is nothing but the power present in the microwave signal which is passing through the waveguide or that particular attenuator will be altered without affecting the quality of the signal. Okay. So same is happening in the concept of optical fiber as well. Even though we are not using any kind of uh, attenuation uh, device in between an optical fiber cable, whenever a light energy or the light signal uh, is transmitting using an optical fiber cable from one point to another point, attenuation is happening. That means some sort of energy loss will be there. So attenuation in the sense with respect to an optical fiber cable can be put it in this way like attenuation is nothing but the total loss which took place between the optical fiber. So within the journey of the optical fiber from point A to point B, where the power which is given as an input through that particular signal is not equal to the power what we have achieved once the signal is getting out of the optical fiber cable. Okay, this can, uh, this uh, can be considered as some of the losses uh, which is taking place with respect to the power in the optical fiber cable. So this can be considered in a uh, formula manner. So alpha is equal to 10 by n log of p in by p out okay so obviously we need to consider attenuation in decibels dbs so what is this l and what is this p in and what is the p out let us see so l is the total length of an optical fiber cable which is traveling uh, to, uh, in which the signal is traveling from point a to point b okay and the p in is the input power of the signal uh, the power total power when it is uh, entering into the optical fiber cable and P out is considered as the output power which is received at the receiver end of an optical fiber cable. So due to the attenuation loss, the power which is entered into as an P in is will be not equal to the power which is received at the output end uh, which is considered as the P out. Okay. So this is one of the uh, consideration of an attenuation loss. Now let's let's see the absorption loss. Okay, so there are different mechanisms of absorption losses due to several uh, atomic defects in the glass composition or due to the uh, fiber material uh, fiber material uh, the problems of atoms. Okay, suppose we all know that. Uh, the optical fiber cable is made of either glass or a fiber, right? Okay. So what this particular material contains, these material contains atoms, okay? Or combination of some molecules or atoms, okay? Through which the light energy is flowing through. So due to some atomic defects, it may be in the glass composition or it can be defects with respect to the fiber material. Uh, some sort of the energy will be absorbed by this particular optical fiber cable. Okay. So here we are considering two absorptions in the absorption loss. One is extrinsic absorption. So it is the absorption occurred by the impurity of atoms in the glass material. Due to the impurity of atoms in the glass material, the energy get absorbed or the light source get absorbed. Okay. Which we are considering it as entering extrinsic absorption. And coming to the intrinsic absorption, it is due to the uh, 
defects of atoms with respect to the fiber material okay so that can be considered as our instinctive absorption okay this is one of the absorption loss of an optical fiber cable now coming to the third one so railing scattering structure okay so this is due to the defects or discontinuities which occurred in the glass material okay so i uh, have just now i have said the optical fiber cables are made of either glass or a fiber material like so this is one of the uh, due to the disorders of the structure okay present in the glass or the material which this particular optical fiber is made of due to which uh, the there will be scattering of this particular light wave or the light source occurs okay so uh, due to the uh, discontinuities or the defects in the structure of an optical fiber cable which is inside the core the what happens whenever the light is traveling through an optical fiber cable okay so the reflections will be keep on differing and the signal light source will be scattering in a several directions due to the uh, disorder or the discontinuity of the structure present inside the glass okay as we can simply say that whatever the light entered into an optical fiber cable due to the disorder structure of a glass uh, inside this particular core the light which is traveling in a particular direction will be scattered into several direction this can, can be considered as uh, this scattering loss of light propagation can be considered as the railing scattering loss okay so in the diagram you can clearly see over here the light energy is getting uh, scattered into several directions now next comes the micro bend losses okay so these losses are generally occurs during the manufacturing or the installation process okay so uh, whenever a particular optical fiber is getting installed or whenever there are so many bends of with respect to this particular optical fiber cables what happens is the fiber the physically the fiber gets deformed okay so due to which there occurs a small cuts in the layers of the optical fiber cable due to which whatever the light is entering or traveling through the particular core will be slowly coming out into the layer of cladding okay so what's happening the light energy which is carrying the data is coming out into the layer of the carrying uh, cladding due to the deformation of or the small cuts occurred due to the physical deformation of the fi fiber and the light rays get scattered into the cladding and sometimes if it, if the insulating layer is also gets damaged the light rays comes out of the optical fiber cable which can be considered as a loss of a signal or uh, which can be considered as the um, uh, radiation effect which is coming out of the optical fiber cable if the power is mod in that particular signal okay this is this occur generally mainly due to the micro bends okay occurring in the uh, optical fiber cable so this is considered as the micro bend losses and coming to the last one macro bend losses so in this this is also a kind of bend it is majorly occurred due to the installation of cable for several applications so all almost all the times the fiber optical cable cannot be installed in a straight path right so the fiber uh, fiber optical need to be uh, bent and moved in a several uh, uh, shapes or design manner right okay according to the application we use due to which the light also bends the light which is traveling in an optical fiber cable also bends according to the shape of the wire it is molded or the bent due, due to the installation due to which there might be loss of uh, i mean there might be a uh, huge deviation between the total internal reflections present in this particular op optical fiber cable signal okay so this occurs so this can be considered as one of the loss and this uh, occurrence can be considered as a macro bend losses okay you can see over here due to the bend of the optical fiber cable so the reflections of the light energy also differs by signal to signal so this is considered as an macro bend losses 
and it is also can be considered as the macroscopic bending okay thank you